Welcome to another episode of Art Co. Drone Solutions. Today, I am going to be doing a product review on this product here. This is by PJY Tech. This is a gadget to put on your Mavic Air 2. And what it does is you can put a GoPro type camera and you can have it facing uh, rearward or forward. You can even put another attachment right here to where you could put like maybe a, uh, a 360 camera. This device allows you to put a GoPro style camera on. You can have it facing either way, forwards or rearwards. And it comes with these little cute little flashlights on there. I mean, they're, they're pretty bright for just uh, one little bulb. They're LED, but I wouldn't use them for, uh, you know, f flying at night if you need to see where your drone is. But maybe if you're looking at a subject that's dark, it might be handy to have. But it's got some interesting features on here, like these uh, side holes. That is for where the, the battery buttons are. When you want to disengage your battery, pull it out of the drone. And then on the top here, you can see there is a hole. That hole is to turn on your drone which is cool and on the bottom there is another hole and that is for the sensor now i tried this out and let's go look at the video As you could see with the video from the, the camera on the PGY Tech, uh, it's got a lot of shake to it. Now, if I had a camera that had image stabilization in it, it'd probably be all right. And I might try that with my uh, GoPro 5 in a future video. But I was using a SJ Cam 4000 action camera it's very similar to a gopro it's cheaper but the quality of the video is rather pretty good but the problem that i had with this is uh you it would not allow me to get 
over 250 feet because you were really pushing the motors with this on here. Uh, I wouldn't go more than one battery on here. I wouldn't even go with a fully charged battery. I would only use this sparingly because of the weight. It really puts a lot of uh, pressure on the, the motors and could possibly either burn out the motors or your ESC. And you don't want to do that. So I would use this product sparingly whenever you have a need for something like, like this. Okay, so, so this is a neat little gadget. I had another one by the same company that was for the Mavic Air. And I wasn't too impressed with it because uh, it had a lot of jitter and jello in it. But if I had a camera that had uh, stabilization built in, it probably would be a little better. But we won't know uh, until I find out. So uh, I would uh, I would give it a 3 out of 5. You know, it, it's very well built. Uh, it looks like it's been uh, 3D printed. So it's very rugged plastic and they you put this on your your drone by unscrewing these screws on the side and this bottom comes out and then you uh, put the top on and then put the bottom on and screw it in get it nice and tight but not too tight because sometimes you might get a uh, battery error in your uh, drone so uh, uh it's a, a neat little idea uh I'll, I'll try it out with a camera that does have image stabilization so uh not bad uh another product i tried out and uh, uh i look forward to trying out more of whatever pg y tech has that I could try out in the future so uh, thanks for watching and if you like this video please click on the icon in the lower right hand corner and click on the badge there and you'll be subscribed to my channel and please don't forget to hit that bell button that way you'll be notified when my next video comes up and it'll also let you know when my live stream comes on, which I do every Saturday evening at 4 p.m. Pacific, 5 Mountain Time, 7 p.m. Eastern Time, and 7 a.m. Philippine Time on Sunday. So uh, thank you very much and keep them flying.